Good evening, guys. Or it could be good morning or whatever. Anyway, um, I've done another more accurate drawing. Uh, apart from, obviously, this silly banana shape thing here. So just to, I've just stuck that on just to show you that that's what that is there. Um, so I've been up and scrutinised and I've taken my digital verniers up and measured every single straight bit on the swinging arm I can do. And it's not good news because I still don't think it's going to fit. Um, so as you can see, the Thunder Race frame is in white and the uh, sing it's the triumph 955 swinging arm is in uh, i believe that's scion not fucking magenta like in my last video the the guy the center lines are magenta anyway um so just to recap uh the width of the thunder race frame is 265 um, but between these mountains where the swinging arm actually goes through, it's 255. So, uh, and the width of the swing arm is 284. Um, so, as you can clearly see, 284 minus 265 so that's 19 mil I'll have to chop off the swinging arm just to get it to fit uh, in between the thunder race frame without chopping these without chopping these these things off here okay so um, that's a hell of a lot of uh, that's like 8 mil either side now as you can see um, even if that swinging arm is is lined up with that edge of the frame which actually incidentally it does when I line up the centers um, so the center of the thunder race rear sh lower shock mount lined up with the center of the um, hole for the shock absorber um, actually is nearly parallel with that but you can see on this side I hope you can see that uh, let me just get rid of that because I don't need that now um, basically that's how much I'd have to chop out of the uh, Thunder Race frame no I won't hang on fucking hell that's how much I'd have to chop out of the Thunder Race frame to get it to slide in which would be stupid um, or I would need to uh, chop off. Oops, that much. Right, I'm making the right balls of this. Or I would need to chop off that much of the triumph swinging arm on that side to get it to slide in in between the frame. So I'm afraid this uh, this 955 swinging arm is, is going to be a no-go. But um, I do believe that um, a VFR 750L single-sider is about 245 wide, I think. And if we look at this... That's 255. So I think the VFR 750 swinging arm will actually fit inside the Thunder Ace frame with 5 mil either side. I believe. So 
that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so what I'm going to do is the 955 swinging arm, I'm going to get it blasted, I'll get it painted, um, I'll replace all the bearings and stuff like that. Um, I'll put it back together, I'll get the wheel blasted, I'll put it back together and then I'm going to sell it on eBay or something. Um, so that's that's it, but it's worth doing something like this because obviously if I'd have started hacking at it and stuff like that um, and then realised that it was going to be ridiculously not work, I'd have ended up with a knackered swinging arm basically. Um, so what I'll do is I will save this one as um, TAS project, uh, I'll put it as 955i. And then um, what I'll do is when I get the VFR one, I'll do a brand new drawing, um, obviously without this in, but still got the Thunder Race framing and I'll do a, a, a drawing of the VFR one. Um, incidentally, the bearings as well on this 955, those are, the, those are in green. Um, so that's the bearing on the left hand side. And this is looking uh, as though you're at the front of the bike towards the rear. So that's the bearing on the left hand side and that line there is where the circlip goes that holds it in. So I'm assuming that space there is where the seal goes. But on the other side, it's a really deep one. It's a deep needle bearing, but there's not much fucking material there, look. I think there's about two and a half mil or something like that between the um, I think it's two and a half mil let me just double it. yeah two two point four six mil so it's about two and a half mil um, of material that separates the needle bearing and the outside of the swinging arm so anyway um, so that's not a much very much as well so what I'll do guys is, um, like I say, I'll do a video of me blasting this, getting this swinging arm blasted and the wheel blasted and then painted and then I'll do a, a video of me rebuilding it and then I'll sell it, um, I think. Uh, so I've got 130 quid in this swinging arm. Um, so let's just, uh, I don't know, let's hope that uh, I can get my money back. So what I'll do now is I'll save this one as, save as, uh, VFR750, I think it's an L model that fits. Right, so this is now ready for me to, st I'll, I'll get the 750 swinging arm ordered uh, and I can measure it up and you'll see that there'll be five mil to spare which is a good do. So it was worth a try um, uh, and that's it basically guys. Um, the 955i swinging arm won't fit into a Thunder Race frame unless you're prepared to do a lot of machining and stuff like that and I'm not really prepared to do all that. Um, so anyway, it, it was a nice idea, but like I say, it was a non-starter um, from the word go, so never mind. I've wasted a few hours doing a drawing, but that's about it. Right, thank you very much.